You're listening to Change Your POV Podcast, episode 116. But for whatever reason, I'm not entirely sure, I haven't put my finger on why, but I haven't been able to sustain for any length of time any one system. I've tried a regular notebook to list out, you know, bulleted to-do lists for the day or for the week or for the month. I've gone to the store and I've bought myself some of those, uh, you know, those day runners or day planners. And I've tried to use ones that already have the days mapped out. Welcome to Change Your POV Podcast, helping you navigate transitions in your life, like entering and exiting college or the military, changing jobs or careers, and providing you with the coaching and mentorship needed to help you advance in your personal or professional life. Sometimes all you need is to change your point of view. Now, here's your host, Eddie Lazary. Hello, folks, and welcome to Change Your POV Podcast. Today is Attack Friday, and of course, Attack is an acronym because we love our acronym. It stands for Actionable Tips, Tricks, and Coachable Knowledge. I am your host, Eddie Lazary, and I'm doing a solo show here. Bennett is working. Yes, it's Friday, and he's working, uh, and he gets to work tomorrow because he uh, he doesn't get off until Sunday and Monday. Lucky him. All right, folks, so this is a solo show, and I'm going to share with you something that I've been wanting to share with you for quite some time now, but I have kind of held off until I was able to really vet it out and make sure that it not only works for me, but it's something viable that could work for you as well, and that is bullet journaling or just bullet journals, and you're like, what the hell is a bullet journal? So I don't know about you. Maybe some of you out there listening have heard of bullet journaling. Maybe some of you actually um, do bullet journal or have a bullet journal. It was new to me. It was something that I kind of stumbled across. I'm not entirely sure how I found it, but I did. And it works, man. It works for me. So before we get into any specifics, uh, a quick shout out to this week's sponsor, Mountain Up. Mountain Up is your premier military and apparel clothing store. And uh, guess what, folks? Christmas is right around the corner. So if you are looking for something for that hard to buy someone in your life. Some of us can be extremely hard to buy for. Other people are just happy with whatever the hell you stick in the stocking. But if you're looking for something special, something unique, something that uh, perhaps they don't already have, or if you're just looking for some a little stocking stuffers for whatever your your military gal or guy, uh, head on over to uh, changeyourpov.com forward slash mountain up. And over there, you're going to find, now, again, Mountain Up is is kind of, it's conducive to the 10th Mountain Division of the United States Army. But this particular shop will have something for everyone, not not just the Army, but you got the uh, United States Marine Corps, Navy, Air Force. Uh, and I think there might even be something there for some Coasties. I'm not entirely sure. I haven't looked that deep. But but they've got all kinds of stuff. If you've got your, uh, if you're in the Army or were in the Army and you were an armor, air for air defense, artillery, aviation, chemical engineer, air, uh, field artillery, infantry, military, police, ordnance, signal, transportation, quartermaster, cav scout, there is something in here for you me myself personally i was a 13 fox fire support specialist you can uh head on over again to change your forward slash mountain up and uh check it out man there's all kinds of great stuff and once you load up your basket your card as it were then uh, make sure you type in the code good 10 g-o-o-d one zero for your 10 percent off all right let's get into this For, for many years now, I am, I don't know, maybe borderline OCD, I'm not entirely sure, but I always struggle keeping my thoughts, ideas, concepts, brainstorming sessions uh, all in one place. And I've tried, to, you know, I've tried everything. I've had to-do lists, you know, in, in, in many different forms. I've tried cell phone apps. You know, there's all kinds of different cell phone applications. There's all kinds of note-taking tools like OneNote. 
Um, and there's, uh, what is that? Evernote also is another popular one. And I've used all of those. And, and don't get me wrong, all of those are really, really great. And they all have really awesome features. And I've been able to find utility in each and every one of them to some degree. But for whatever reason, I'm not entirely sure. I haven't put my finger on why. But I haven't been able to sustain for any length of time any one system. I've tried a regular notebook to list out, you know, bulleted to-do lists for the day or for the week or for the month. I've gone to the store and I've bought myself some of those, uh, you know, those day runners or day planners. And I've tried to use ones that already have the days mapped out for me and the months mapped out. Um, and oftentimes I find that I, I would skip a lot of days or a lot of months and I'd come back to it and it was never very consistent and it was hard to follow up with it. And so I finally found some day runners and planners that didn't have the specified month or day. I could just go in there and kind of handwrite whatever day is it, it is. I've tried some that had the listed out, you know, hours of the day from like 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. I tried to fill in what I was going to do. And it's just, I mean, you're, you're with me on this, right? I mean, there's so many different ways of capturing ideas and thoughts and actions and to-dos and prioritization and et cetera. And oh, it's just exhausting. It's just absolutely exhausting. I even tried uh, Outlook. So I use Outlook quite a bit at work. And there's a, a fabulous task feature in there, a calendar uh, function, reminders even. Um, and even it goes for your phone. I'm not entirely sure about Android because I don't have one, but I'm sure there's a lot of apps on Android where there's reminders and uh, alarms and alerts and things like that uh, that you can get to, to ring your phone or even send you emails. That's the other thing. There's plenty of... Uh, email apps out there that will help you with prioritization and reminders and to-do lists and tasks and all that great and wonderful stuff. And I've tried it all, man. I have just been down that road over and over and over and over again. And I almost, I mean, I would have notebooks on top of notebook, different notebooks for different things. I'd have a notebook for my for brainstormings or ideas. I'd have a notebook for to-dos. I'd have a notebook for journaling, like daily journaling or weekly journaling. I'd have a notebook for, you know, change your POV stuff. I have a notebook for personal stuff. Oh, it's just, I think you can kind of sense my frustration with that whole thing. And if this sounds anything like you, then you know what? I, I've got what might be the answer. I found something that works for me. And if anything that I've said so far sounds familiar in any way, then you're in luck. I think this, this could help. It's called Bullet Journal. And no, not bullets like the kind that you shoot in a gun. Bullet, like bullet statements. Like when you're writing down a list of things, a bulleted statements or a bulleted list. It's very systems. It's very, it's very simple. So the bullet journal is a customizable and forgiving organizational system. And it could be your to-do list. It could be a sketchbook. It could be a notebook, a diary. Uh, but more than likely, it will be all of the above. And I think that's the piece of this that makes this so intriguing to me and what makes it so usable to me is it is everything in one. I don't need a separate book for journaling and one for to-do lists and one for, because I think that's the reason why I didn't find it or haven't been able to find anything that I could sustain for any length of time is because nothing really catered to everything that I wanted and needed. And sometimes I would get a, a notebook and I would start in it pretty good and all of a sudden, I'd want to move things around, and of course, I would be tearing out pages, and a lot of these pages weren't perforated kind, and I would lose lose these loose leaf pieces of paper, and I had every intention in copying them down somewhere else into another book. It's just, ugh, just daunting. So this bullet system is basically an all-in-one, one-stop shop system. It's It's incredible, absolutely incredible. So how does it work? Well, that is uh, that's a very interesting question all into itself. And what I've done to kind of help you through this, understand how it works and whether or not it's right for you, the good news is you can actually try this today. You don't need a special journal. You don't need to run out to the store and get anything. You can grab any used notebook that you've got or any brand new, you know, three ring notebook or a regular notebook or composition book, whatever you have laying around, and you can actually try this out just to kind of get a sense for how it works. And then if you like it, then you can actually go and buy, you know, a brand new journal. And there's some things, some 
particular journals that I recommend for this type of journaling, and I'll get into that here in a minute. Um, but the best thing you could do is head on over to the show notes for this episode at changeyourpov.com forward slash episode 116. And in those show notes, I have basically uh, spelt out what a bullet journal is, what it does, how it works. And there's a video in there as well. It, the video is actually, it's a YouTube video. You can click on it and watch it. It was actually created by the inventor of the bullet journal. And he goes through a very detailed tutorial on how to set up a, a bullet journal, how it works. Um, it's really, it starts just real briefly. I'll kind of, uh, I'll kind of share some of this with you. So it's, it's rapid logging. So you can actually log in stuff very quickly without a whole lot of thought process ahead of time. So note taking and traditional journaling take a lot of time and the more complex the entry, the more effort is expanded. So the more effort expanded, the more of a choice it becomes uh, in terms of what you actually capture in your journal, right? That's exactly my my problem. There's a lot of things that were very complex I didn't want to capture because it was just, oh my God, it was just daunting. And then I didn't know what, what I was going to do with the information, how I was going to transfer it, or how I was going to action it. Rapid logging is the solution. So what is rapid logging? Great question. Rapid logging is the language in which the bullet journal is written. It consists of four components, which are topics, page numbers, short sentences, and then the bullets, of course, which is where the bullet journaling gets its name. So topics and page numbers. So the first step of rapid locking is to add a topic on the top outer corner of the page. And a topic is simply a short descriptive title. Give it, the, uh, give it a little uh, thought and it can uh, help you really clarify your entry. Once that's done, be sure to number the page that you're on, and then you can start filling in your bullet journal, getting into the habit of titling and numbering your pages before you add any content. So that's really kind of how you get started. And then you start going through your actual bullets, and there's a different um, uh, icon for each of the different type of uh, bullets that you're putting into your, into your bullet journal. Um, and I'm not going to get into what each of those icons are. The the um, the video will explain it very well, what kind of bullets uh, you're using, what that structure looks like, and the type of icons you will use and what they mean. Um, and then uh, you just start filling in your tasks. And as you complete tasks, there's ways to identify what's been completed. If you got tasks that uh, you end up not needing to complete for whatever reason, it lost its validity, you didn't need to do that task, so you can line through it. If you have a task that you need to migrate forward into the next week or the next month, then there's a way that you can migrate your tasks forward into the next month. If you need to migrate it further than a month, then you can actually migrate it into uh, a, a different type of system towards the beginning of the journal. And you're, if this sounds confusing, it probably is. But watch the video and you will, uh, you will completely understand how this works and it's, and it's awesome. Um, I'm not going to get into much more of the specifics of bullet journaling. Head on over to the show notes page, check it out. And what I've also done is I've also included in the show note page is uh, the show notes page the type of journal that I started out with, which is a moleskin. Uh, it's the squared or, or grid feature uh, pages. And then there's also a different. It's the it's the bullet journal uh, that most people, when I've done the research and I've been I've actually been bullet journaling now for probably uh, three and a half months, and it's been great. It's been the only system I've been able to sustain so far, and it's working. It's working awesome for me, and I'm going to continue with it. So when I'm done with the with the moleskin uh, journal, I'm going to probably move over to. The other journal uh, that most people that do bullet journal journaling really highly recommend. And so the links to both the Moleskin and that other journal that I mentioned is in the show notes page for this episode. You could check it out. And then also, uh, boy, I, I did a lot of experimentation with the types of pen to use while journaling. I kind of learned the hard way. There was some pens that I really liked that uh, didn't work very well with journaling because they would smudge or they would bleed through the paper. And so I finally found some excellent pens that I use for my journaling and the description in the picture and links to those uh, those types of pens are in the show notes page as well. And then just a bonus tip for the for those that are interested in giving this a shot. 
I said, how cool would it be if I were to kind of pull back the curtain for you and take you on a little bit of a journey of my my bullet journal? What 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 does the inside of my bullet journal actually look like? And so what I did was I took a series of pictures and I put them into basically a, a like a slideshow or a presentation. Along with the pictures, there was a description of each picture, what it was, what it meant to me, how I was using it. And so you really get to see actual pictures of my bullet journal. You'll get to see what my calendar looks like, my task lists and things like that. Um, nothing racy in there, so calm down. But uh, yeah, so uh, fair warning though, I don't have the greatest of handwriting and my spelling is atrocious. So just uh, that little caveat there. So be gentle. But you can, uh, down at the bottom of the show notes page, there's a place where you can opt in. You just uh, put your name and email in there, and you will instantly receive a subscription notification in your email. And once you get the uh, confirmation, you can click on it, and you can download it. It's a PDF. You just uh, you can look at it on your phone or your desktop, whatever you've got, and you can kind of thumb through each of the slides, and you can check out my bullet journal. All right? So that's something that I put together just for you. And I hope you enjoy it, and I would really love to see if anybody gives us a shot, what what you think about it. Please leave your comments in the show notes page down below. There's a comment section just below where you can opt in to get the free download of my bullet journal. Uh, leave me some comments. Let me know what you think. Uh, did it work for you? Does it not work for you? Do you have a different type of pen that you find works well? Do you have a different journal that you've been using that you find works well? Maybe you want to take some pictures and uh, come on over to our Facebook page, our Facebook group at Change Your POV Squad and, and drop some pictures in there of your bullet journal. That'd be really cool. Um, so yeah, man, that is the this week's episode of Attack Friday, actionable tips, tricks, and coachable knowledge so you can be as productive as I'm learning to be uh, with this new journaling system, the bullet journal. All right, folks, that's it. Short, sweet, to the point. Hope you have an awesome Friday and a fantastic weekend. And for those of you that are attending the Spartan race down in Fenway um, on Veterans Weekend, Veterans Day weekend on the uh, November 12th, I look forward to seeing you there. Uh, make sure you stop. We're running in the morning race and we will all have red t-shirts on that say Warrior Hall, red t-shirts with white letters that say Warrior Hall, which is of course our nonprofit organization. And if you want to go check out more about what Warrior Hall has going on, you can head on over to warriorhall.org. And uh, there will also be a link in the show notes page of this episode for Warrior Hall as well. So, yeah, if you're listening to this and you happen to be out uh, out and about and you're running that race, uh, stop and say hi. Yell at us or uh, come volunteer to do our burpees for us. That'd be awesome. All right, folks, until next time. Thanks for listening to Change Your POV Podcast with Eddie Lazary. Check out more content by going to changeyourpov.com. And remember, your ability and willingness to change your point of view will open doors of opportunity. 